Linda Lila Mrita, Prata Lila, second chapter, verse 57, Rasodgar Lila, remembering the previous night's pastimes. Meanwhile, still weary from the precious night, and staggering in their gait, Lalita and the other Sakis come one by one to assemble beside Radha. Tika Nearly every day at this time Radha joins her Sakis to release over and again the rasa of her previous night's affairs with Krishna. Many Gaudiya Mahajanas have written Padavali, Kirtan Padas, on this theme. Shivishvana Chakravati depicts these pastimes as follows in Krishna Bhavana Mrita. As Radha sits on a large jeweled vedi and rests against three large pillows, the sakis surround her. They have just begun to laugh and engage in Rasamaya banter when Shamala Saki arrives. Shamala is a Yuteshvari who leads her own group of Sakis. Nevertheless, she has a deep affection for Radha and enjoys more pleasure from hearing about Radha's affairs with Krishna than experiencing her own. Thus, seeing Shamala approaching, Radha affectionately comes forward to embrace her and sits her by her side. Oh, his loveliness personified just embrace Shamala. Then, with an intense anurag, Radha forgets her previous night's episode and exclaims, Oh Shamala, I was just thinking about you. If Krishna came before my eyes, as you have, the tree of my desire would bear fruit. That would make my day auspicious. But O oh Sundari Shamali, even as this tree continues to grow, and even though the Sakis continue to sprinkle water over it, it remains fruitless. Oh, what can be the reason? And when shall I rejoice to see its delectable fruits? O oh, Sakirade, answers smiling Shamala. If the tree of your desire hasn't fructified, don't worry. It will soon. Hey, jaded one, there's fruits are certainly exotic because their fragrance maddens every Ali. Ali means bees like Braja Gopis. For after tasting, they consider themselves deprived. All right, 
their redness has reddened your eyes, yet you deny seeing. Isn't this amazing? O oh, restless eyed one! By savoring this amritafal nectar and fruit again and again, your lips became bruised, yet you deny it, which is astonishing. Thus Shamala concludes. And moreover, right, Krishna's red palm stains tint your eyelids, and his lips have discolored yours. So has the incredible spell of Sham Anurag made you forget everything? Radhika replies. Saki Shamali, don't misjudge my pain. Hear and stop teasing me. After recollection, I guess that Krishna has touched me. But listen to my view. Just as a lightning flash suddenly illumines the sky on a dark, cloudy night and disappears leaving a darkness that is twice as dense Krishna has entered my dark cloudy life only once like a flash and then he suddenly vanished so now my depression is doubled Answers. Radhe, the one you describe to be like lightning, that Kalanidhi, the moon or the bestower of Kalankas, it is humiliating disgrace, has incessantly bathed you in the happiness of his Karagra. Karagra, Karagra, moonbeams, or fingernails. And those marks are visible on your breasts. Radha replies, Oh, Shamale, you're right. Saki, he's a Kalanidi. All right. Although he didn't bestow any colors, any merits upon me. Rather, through his Sangha, I, be I become a Kalankini, an object of scandal. O oh, Shamale, hi, hi. If just once he would bathe my Chakura eyes in the moonbeams of his effulgence, not completely just a little bit, not to the extent that all of my senses were submerged in his ambrosia, but just enough, enough, that my eyes were satiated. That would be sufficient. But Alice, he's indifferent. Shamala says, Oh, Radhe, please don't deceive me. Oh, Saki, I come, I've come to relieve all my suffering. I want to enter the Katamrita Ganges of your previous night's Krishna Sangha. Right, can a Sadhachari, a spiritual practice, function without taking an early morning bath. Similarly, without bathing in the Ganga-like Lilamrita flowing from your mouth, I am unable to start my day. 
hearing Shamala's prayer, Radha's intense Krishna and Rag deepens and she continues to compare Krishna with the Kalaniti. Hey Shamali, when I entered the Nikunja Mandir, suddenly a bright sham effulgence overwhelmed me. Then, who placed me on the stage of Kamadeva's theater? I cannot say. And thereupon I was pelted from head to foot by an array of amorous flower arrows. Yet, as I watched the incredible dance of Brindavan's Navina Madana, he expanded unlimitedly, and I was completely devoured. Therefore, what happened? I'm unable to say, even at the cost of my life. Shamalan says, Hey Radhe, although Krishna's death tense with the Vilas Sindhu causes a million cupids to faint, you are the puppeteer who manipulates his movements. So how can you claim to be only a spectator? This is a white lie. Radhika continues. Shamane, besides this, there are hundreds of other impression, impressions arising in my mind. But oh Saki, is this all a dream or imagination? Or the magic of Krishna's illusion potency? I cannot fathom it. My mind is totally confused. Even, even if a hungry person dreams of feasting while he is asleep, upon awakening his hunger remains. Similarly, the reflections of Krishna's Anga Sangha rising within my mind appear like dreams, so I am unable to tangibly release them. Therefore, what's the use of mentioning all this phantasmagoria? Hearing Radha's dilemma, Shamala concludes with a smile. O oh Radhe, even from a distance, the scent of Krishna's lips makes the Braja Sundaris blind to family obligation. As if eagerly drunk the sweet madhu to excess, distortion of memory is inevitable. But this is not a dream, nor is it a display of magic. This is Krishna Bhavanamrita.